and I did not expect him to literally grab me. When I tell you, I felt the force, like I was no longer walking straight. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hear Me Out. Um, that was so corny and so lame, but I wanted to do a little story time because I went to Vegas not too long ago and I wanted to tell this story because I thought it was just the funniest thing ever because people always say what stays in Vegas, uh, no, people always say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I'm over here butchering it up and I just think that's so funny because why? I, I want to talk about what happened in Vegas. <laughs> I mean, I've been planning or I wanted to go to Vegas ever since summer 2020, okay? I turned 21 at the end of 2019, so summer 2020 was perfect, you know? But then Corona happened. Corona ruined a lot of stuff. It ruined our plans. It ruined my internship. It, you know, it ruined getting into the dorm that I wanted for my last year of college. Like, it ruined everything. So I finally got to go, and it was supposed to be on my birthday originally in November, but that didn't happen. I just did a little something on the day of, and then went and pushed it back to like December so everybody could go comfortably, okay? Have a little bit of money, a little something, something to spend. So, um... I mean, the trip was fun. Like, we really didn't venture that far out because we didn't have a car and we really didn't want to pay all that money for it. Like, even the amount of Ubers, whatever, didn't even add up to a fraction of what we would have paid for a rental car. So, so we Ubered a lot. One of our first activities was just doing an escape room. Like, we got there so early uh, on that first day, which I originally didn't see happening. We had extra time, like, extra space to fill up because we had plans for the other days and it wasn't the other days yet it was the first day so we went to the skate room and we went out to eat and stuff like that uh that's the second time i've ever got out of the skate room i've done an escape room probably like 10 times at this point that's the second time i've ever gotten out and my best friend went with me and she got out with us and that was her first time ever being in one like lucky you but i had nothing it was a smart crew okay <laughs> it was a smart crew with me all young college grads like we, we was getting up out of there um but uh yeah, so that was the first night. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna lie. I love the trip and I wanna go back, but I don't remember every single little thing. I just remember the like goofy parts. And one day we, I think the second day we had spent like a whole lot of money. We did a whole lot of stuff, a lot of activities, eating, drinking stuff. Okay, we all grown in these streets. Um, <laughs> but we, did some free stuff like we went to go see we w went through a mall and we went to see the botanical garden and we went to go see the flamingo resort at the hotel but free stuff obviously isn't it's underwhelming because it's free so we ended up just walking the streets or whatever and going to other places that we originally wasn't gonna go to so we had to uber but before that we was like i think we we're walking back to the hotel if i'm not mistaken but we're walking back somewhere and as we were walking across the street i don't know if they were like street performers or just just random las vegas people on the street because every time we walked somewhere there was always these girls with big like peacock feather type carnival outfits on talking about someone let's take a picture i'm just like why like and do i have to pay I'm like i didn't want no picture number one with no peacock girl like what that that's not what i'm here for this is what happened we were coming down some stairs from i think right in front of the, like one of the entrances for the mall in a, a hotel we were coming down the stairs and we there's like handicapped rails or whatever for wheelchairs i'm assuming or just easier pathway for walking. And these two people came down in wheelchairs. One was a older person and one was a lady who had like a boot on her foot. Um, and then there's this woman in a devil latex catsuit outfit, devil horns, whip and all just standing there. She was, and they, as they were rolling down and they got to the bottom, she was like, whoa, 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 hot wheels. Where are y'all going so fast? And I was just like, okay, weird, <laughs> literally weird. And the guy, there was a guy pushing, I guess it was her wife, the lady who had the boot. There was a guy pushing her and they just kept trying to roll past. And the other old dude, they stood there and entertained it. As we were walking by, there were these two guys, I guess like cops or whatever, in like costumes. And he, one of them, I guess, I think both of them were just trying to like, 
obviously entertained and the husband is just like nah nah you can go over there to them blah 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 it's like we're not interested type thing and as he's like pushing her through because the, he ain't stopping for nothing he's not playing no games the two guys it was me it was it was only four of us on this trip it was me my best friend and my two friends from college we were walking and they the there was this tall white guy and this tall black dude with dreads the white guy literally tried to pull me to the side when i say try to he basically did like it wasn't just like a hey come here it was a fully grabs my arm and hands or whatever and he's just like hey come over here i'm just like i'm good he was like yeah you can be good over here i'm just like oh my god and the other guy was grabbing on my friend and he was more bold because he kept walking with us oh do eventually let me go but i was definitely giving him the death stare because don't do me and then <laughs> and he was literally like arm wrapped around my best friend and we were just like uh-uh we're not doing this if y'all don't get to getting like what is happening here so i was just like this is this is what y'all do like like y'all just harassing people it's corona why are you touching me why are you so close like literally arm wrapped around her and we were just like what is going on and we just kept walking around because we were going back to the hotel most likely we were just walking down the strip and i was just like what on god's green earth oh do we got going on here like what literally pulled us out of the crowd when i tell you we were literally walking in the midst of a crowd so how i got got i don't know and it really he it was just the beginning of too much because after he grabbed me and then his friend played along and grabbed my friend i was just like this is not what we're doing and my two friends from college in the back like what is going on so we just walking through like they didn't even bother them i was just like must be nice to not be harassed so i was <laughs> i was just i was just keeping it pushing and we were just talking about the dumb stuff because we were just like, that's real bold and real close and it's Corona. Like, what do you, <laughs> like, we're already all taking risks coming out here and getting on a plane and everything, all that good, good. And you were gonna sit here and get all up in my face, all up in my personal space. Like, you were just in my bubble and I ain't like it. Okay, it was, it was, I didn't expect it. I really thought they were gonna bother some other people, some, some other people okay at the end of the day i thought he was gonna buy some other people I, I did not expect him to literally grab me when i tell you i felt the force like i was no longer walking straight because he was pulling me towards him not okay <laughs> absolutely not okay like you there's people who are always willing to entertain and have fun and do all that stuff with go for those people because they would have entertained you they would have had the fun with you i just wasn't one of them go to somebody who's willing because there is always somebody who's ready to have some goofy fun like that i just wasn't one of them because it's corona and i don't want to be touched by a stranger like i'm sorry stranger danger didn't we learn this but <laughs> it was just that was just wild to me so that that was like one of the heights okay that was one day and then i think the second if not the last night the second to last night we got stopped but it was by some no it was the second to last day we got stopped by some people and they were just like hey what y'all doing tonight what y'all doing tonight and we look it was an old woman and man and a, la a lady with her overlined lipstick and we were just like no not trying to pay them no mind honestly but they were talking and they were just like oh well you can talk to my man over here blah, blah, blah. and some other like young i guess latino guy i don't know he that's what he looked like and he started talking to us about this club hopping type deal and i ain't never been to a club i ain't never done no activities like that and we really didn't have that much to do the next day so we were just like okay why not so we were hearing them out hearing them out blah blah, blah. and it was called the night crawl and it was literally a group of people who took i guess vegas goers tours whatever you want to call us from place to place we started at this one hotel at the bar and then we took the tram to another um hotel and went to a bar and then we went to another club or something like that afterwards so basically and that, at that first stop don't ask me what none of these hotel names are i don't remember the first stop uh we went to a bar and they were playing a drinking game or whatever and they had like a couple games where like if you put a clothespin on somebody somewhere secretive and you start counting down then at the end of it if they can't find a clothespin they have to take a drink um what was another one it was something else where like if you were holding a drink in a certain hand they uh, i don't forgot the saying dang that sucks I, they just said some saying and you had to drink if you were holding it in that hand i think it was your left hand or something like that i don't know um but it was ridiculous and this dude was getting all it was just people all, like i don't understand like yes we're at a bar we're in a casino 
we're already out and exposed and living life because we pulling out a mask just to drink but we put it back up that was me and my crew um but it's still like why do you want to be in other people's space so this is guy walking around doing a fake uh, a fake British accent talking about some hello how are you nice to meet you I'm from blah 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 and then takes two steps to the right and he's talking regular like just but he was getting too close to us and I said that I don't entertain people when I tell you I'd be minding my business I'd be minding my business so I was not entertaining him and he went to one of my other friends and she was talking to him I said why are you even talking to him I'm like y'all need to learn how to use that that rest and bitch face and even if you got a mask on use that rest and bitch voice so like <laughs> ah, so funny like get away from me <laughs> like come on now so uh that was the first spot and we went to the second spot and it was just like some country behind bar because when i tell you the music choice was garbage and the whole time we were just standing there dancing listening to music trying to and there's like this little stage where people were dancing and stuff like that and people can't dance people drunk so we we just laughing really and then we hit the next spot like the second spot spot was uneventful the last spot and we had got free drinks all the drinks were free like up until a certain point so that last spot we had get um it was a buy one get one type deal so you got two drinks at price of one whatever so that was the only time that we really paid no that was the only time we paid that was the only time we paid and um the music was way better it, it was r&b okay urban it was it was just like more up our alley like we did not want to listen to country and old pop music the whole time like no so we were dancing around or whatever the club was getting more and more filled it were like tables or whatever and there were some people that had walked up and they started um standing at the table because we had got drinks eventually at some point we walked back to the area that had good music because it was like sections and like each section was playing like different music they were playing like old school in the back and then like current music in in the middle whatever so we went there and as we were like drinking or whatever the, these guys and this do i swear he i don't know if he had on a cowboy hat or something but i just remember big belt buckle and i was dancing and singing to the music and all of a sudden he looked over and he started pointing he started dancing and i was just like ha 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 hopefully you just stay up there like i just wasn't in the mood for any more of that that crazy stuff and then we went back to the other side because it was just way less crowded and we were just not trying to be in the midst of all of that so we went back to the other side that was playing more the old school and like i mean like bobby brown and like mint condition type old school like my mother's old school type thing and we were just back there listening to music and we found like this corner and we were sitting down and we were drinking our last drink and i chugged the rest of mine because i was tired of sipping okay it tasted good but it wasn't that good for me to just be sipping and making it last so i chugged it and called it a day or i had a straw so i just sipped the rest of it and at that moment I knew I messed up because I, <laughs> that was the end of all sobriety. Like I was, not, I was no longer sober. I was um, off my behind. Let's just say that at the very least. And uh, there were these older dudes. I was singing the song and they started like they came over to us and it wasn't on no like weird stuff it wasn't no old guys trying to pick up on young girls it really wasn't they were genuinely just like you know who's singing that song type thing blah, blah, blah. so i guess you can call it flirting but after it, the conversation was over they left so that's what i'm saying it wasn't no weird stuff to me because it was innocent conversation and then they moved on so even if they were being flirtatious which i don't think they were it didn't go further than that so um because we had sat down there were like heaters and it was technically like an outside type of area we were like dang you still like heaters blah, blah, blah. we were just messing around and also drunk so <laughs> but i mean that nightclub crawl thing whatever that was cool i'm not gonna lie i really liked that so vegas was fun okay we didn't even touch the surface honestly like we didn't do no tours we didn't go to the grand canyon or whatever no the hoover dam or whatever whatever the heck we didn't go to none of that we stayed on the strip and when i tell you a half a mile with a bit and we were walking and if we didn't walk and we took an uber somewhere it, we still stayed in a spot within there like we did not go venturing that far out like we really and truly didn't like we didn't even hotel hop as much as i wanted to but we weren't there that long and when you're there at vegas that long you start spending money money and honey we was done okay <laughs> we were ran dry if my grandma and mama didn't help out a little bit i would have been done with vegas two days too soon <laughs> so but overall the trip was amazing and i just wanted to tell those little stories because it was so funny to me like literally the goofiest things happened and it was such a great time but next time i want to go back like a little couple's trip or something like that because me and my friend we we just want to go with our people like whatever i just think it would be fun to bring people along who didn't go and go again and do different things 
but yeah that's all that i just wanted to tell that story it was just so funny so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you like comment subscribe share with a friend put on a push notification bell all those important things you already know you're supposed to be doing and i will see you guys next time <laughs> bye